Hi guys, I'm Sapo and today I'm going to be showing you how to do drum slicing in Groove Agent 5. So let's get started and see how it's done. This is Cubase 10. I have a blank Groove Agent 5. I'm going to go to our media bay, look in our loops and samples, and we're going to go for our newest content and we're going to look for some drum loops out of there as a good starting point. This is really cool, the Hip Hop Vault, brand new in Cubase 10. Great content. I'm going to open up Media Bay. I'm going to open up the sample folder and I'm going to pick a drum break. Because we're looking for a drum break, we want something with some groove and transient. So I really like the sound of that hip hop break. And what I'm going to do is blank groove agent. I'm going to keep my finger on the mouse and I'm going to drag it to the pads. So I'm going to drag it to the first pad here, which will make it a lot easier when I chop it later on. So let's just drag it onto the pad and there's our sample. So then I can press the pad. I'm going to zoom out of the loop so I can see the whole loop. So there's our loop. I'm going to chop this up now into many regions and we're going to recreate our own groove. So I can go to slice mode and as you can see on our slice page, there's a grayed out set of transients. So this is our algorithm, which is really cool at picking up all the transients of a groove. Back in the days, this was really hard to do. Now, all I need to do is create slices. It's really simple. One click of the button, instantly, I have that drum break mapped across the keys, rapidly picked up all the transients for me and I can recreate it in my own groove, so. Really, really cool. So now I can have a groove of that by going to pattern mode. I can switch it to pattern mode. And as you can see on the first pad there, that has left me with a groove. So I can then build up, if I choose to, 16 different variations of the same drum break. So I don't get to be stagnant with my one drum break that I might be favored to. I can actually say, okay, I have different varieties of that. I have different grooves and patterns of that one same drum break. The options there are absolutely huge. So let's just work with the one for now. I can then hold the pad and audition the groove. So I'm really happy with that. The transients I've got are happy with that. I can, if I choose to, I can actually go a bit deeper and edit the transients, but I'm really happy with how it was chopped. Pattern mode, there's our groove. I'm gonna drag and drop it straight into the Groove Agent MIDI channel track on Cubase 10. The plus sign means it's ready to go. It's active, it's in the channel. And as you can see there, within one click really. Okay, so there's our break, as you can see, over four bars. So now I can edit that and make that groove my own. So let's just do some slight tweaks to it. You really can change this yourself, which is really cool and really powerful. We're gonna show you how you can change this groove and make it your own. So I'm gonna start changing the actual steps of the break. Moving things to random keys, just to get ideas on the fly. So let's shorten this groove and then work within a tighter groove. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna load Groove Agent back up. So now the really powerful thing is I can then start to really get my own custom grooves going. We've changed that groove, we've tweaked it. I can then drag it back to this pad. We then get this dialogue with the right arrow, which basically means I can then replace this pad with the pattern that was already there with my own custom one. So I drag and drop. And now when I press the pad, I get my own custom groove that we just recreated in the key editor in Cubase 10. So let's have a listen. So that's really cool. I can then have 16 variations of that if I choose. Within Cubase, I can actually say, okay, I'm gonna change that to some snare rolls or some kick rolls. And then I can start populating the 16 pads with different variations. So it's really, really, really powerful. So let's build upon the actual instruments within the groove. So let's change the kicks and the snares now. Let's, let's make it more of our own so we can make it a bit more fatter, a bit more expansive. Okay, so now in instrument mode, 
I'm gonna change the sound of this kick. So there's our kick, there's our snare, there's our hat. Now let's expand upon them a bit more. Let's make them fatter. So for instance, this snare, I'm gonna make that a bit more its own character. I'm gonna put that through a separate channel. Really cool thing about Groove Agent is I can mix different parts of the kit and send them through different auxiliary outputs. So in amplitude mode, I can say kit mix, I can say agent. So I'm gonna put this through aux FX1. So that means that now the snare has its own auxiliary bus for the effects. So I can say, okay, let's go to the mixer and I can go to my auxiliaries. And now whatever I put in this slot will affect only the snare because it's been mapped to the output. So now anything I do now on this snare can be affected within our auxiliary effects rack. So we have, I have four effects here. So we're gonna add some reverb. Really quick and easy, double click reverb. Now, my snare has reverb. So when I play the groove, only the snare is gonna have the reverb, like this. So now I start to make some real customization of this kit and kind of make it my own now. And this is really cool for building up sort of even sound design ideas. Um, but for, for drum breaks, it's amazing. I can get it to be really fat and be my own signature drum kit, my own signature sound, and it's gonna be really cool. So let's look at the kick now. So I might want to add some sort of drive to that, some sort of grit. Your kicks, you kind of want them to be quite grungy, quite fat, quite punchy. So back to edit mode, I'm gonna go into our filter tab. So nothing on that at all. We have loads of filters here. So we have classic, tube drive, hard clip, rate reduction, bit reduction. So I'm gonna pick a tube drive, which is amazing. It's got a really nice warm grit, uh, punchy kind of sound to it. All I'm gonna do is raise the distortion a bit. Let's say, I don't know, 25% whilst auditioning it. So I'm gonna add some tube drive. So I'm gonna add about 25% on the distortion. Listen to it while I'm doing it. An extreme value so you can hear what it does. Okay, that's a bit too much. So about 23%. So now I've got a nice warm tube driven kick. Obviously you can change the cut off and the resonance and get it really popping and peaking. Basic sound is out at the moment. We're just gonna get it fat and work with it what we have. So that's really cool. So now I have my own custom drum kit. I have my own custom groove, and then I can now save that as my own custom set ready to roll. Each time I load Groove Agent, I could choose to maybe save it as a default preset, or I can say, I'm gonna save preset, and then I can open up the media bay dialogues and tag it and rate it. So then when I come back to creating a groove, I can just say, okay, there's my drum kit. It was a hip hop genre. It was five stars, and I can rate it five stars. So it's really cool, really, really powerful tool. In our slice page, Groove Agent 5, there's a really, really, really cool feature called Classify. So what is Classify? Let's press on it. So when we click Classify, what that has done is our Groove Agent 5 algorithm has actually analysed this whole drum break and assigned different parts of the break to different drum classes. So the colours will represent the classes. For instance, we have a kick class, we have a snare class, we have a hi-hat class, we have a tom class and a percussion class. So each one of these slices is designated to their colours. So for instance, we can see the blue is actually the kicks, the green is the percussions, and the red is the snares. Now this is fully customizable as well. And of course, if we change our threshold and let the Groove Agent 5 engine pick up the certain transients, then it will change accordingly. So the real benefit and the real power of this is the fact that we can then actually see a good overview and get a real idea of working with loops. So we can actually, especially with slice loops, we can see where the kicks will lie and where, for instance, in our browser mode in Groove Agent 5, where we might want to sample swap. Now, another real powerful feature about it is the fact that we can actually control certain families within the certain classes. So for instance, on the kicks, I can say right click and I want to select all them pads of the same class. Now, the real powerful feature about this is I can then say, okay, I might just want to pitch the kicks or filter the kicks. So for instance, I'm in filter mode, I can say, okay, I'm gonna filter and just select and just change and just edit just the kick ranges. Amazing, so I can then go to the snares for instance and I might say, okay, select all the snare classes, right click, select all in the same class. Now this is selected all the pads within the same class and I can say, okay, here's the pitch mode and I'm just gonna pitch up the snares. Also, 
another really cool thing that we can do is, for instance, we can go into pattern mode and I can say, okay, there's a pattern. Now, the really powerful thing about this is I can actually set all the notes that belong to a certain drum class to a specific key. So this is great. So I can say, okay, snares, I can say right click, and I can say, I want to set all the snares within the snare class region to the same specific key. So I can say, I want them all in C1. I click on that, and now all my snares will be on C1. So it's great for getting an overview and consistent sound with drum breaks, for instance. You get a real consistent sound with it. Really, really cool, powerful feature in Groove Agent 5.